Welcome to the show. My name is Megan Nilsson, aka Crypto Megan, coming to you from sunny southern Spain, Marbella. And today is a very special day for all you XRP holders. That's right. We are celebrating today as XRP is pumping. And it's exciting. It's exciting because XRP has been going sideways for a very long time with all of the mess of the lawsuit. And finally, we have some clarity. So on today's episode, I'm going to let you in on the real reason XRP is pumping, what's happening behind the scenes. And one hint I'll give you is Wall Street is getting plugged in to XRP. This is huge. So I'm going to let you know the real reason why XRP is pumping based on insider information, people who have worked on Wall Street, the people who are working working on this technology and I'm going to keep it 100 with you on this channel so you have the best possible chance to succeed. I'm also going to let you know up to what price point I am buying XRP. My price prediction for this bull run and also the price prediction in this move alone. How high can XRP go now? And at the end we're going to zoom out and I'm going to leave you with what we can expect in the coming decade. So don't miss any of this. It's all going to be a lot of juice. If you like that, hit the subscribe button. Let me know where you're subscribing from and drop an XRP pump, XRP army holder comment. I want to know you're out there. We are celebrating together today. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. So lots to celebrate today in this XRP pump. We are going to cover that from start to finish. Just like I said in the intro, I'm going to unpack all the juice for you. So stay tuned so you don't miss anything. So first up, XRP flips BNB to hit number four in the top five cryptos. This is exciting. This is exciting. XRP is waking up and it's time to pay attention. It's time to stop being in denial. Things are different. We are not in the bear market anymore. We've been in phase one of the bull market since January 2023 and soon we'll be in phase two. So you've just got to ask yourself, how long are you going to wait before you start strategizing and taking advantage of this incredible opportunity we have right now. So next up, the real reason why XRP is pumping is not necessarily the news, but what's happening in the background. There are a lot of channels today talking about news that's moving the markets. Let's be real. The news has not moved the markets in years. <laughs> it's been a few years that we're just trending sideways, even on massive bullish news. And what's really happening is we're starting to get new liquidity into the market. And that's how this goes. We need new money coming in to be able to pump these markets. And many predict that the Fed will turn on the money printer and the stimulus will come pouring in during next year, which is election year, as they pause the rate hikes. So I want to draw your attention to this total one day chart which is a massive cup and handle. I've gone over this on other videos, a massive cup and handle that's just broken out. As you can see, we are, we are now currently breaking out and retesting, which is right around $1.25 trillion. And the, measure, the measured move just on this move alone is almost $1.8 trillion. So we've got room to run. The tank is full and I'm going to let you in on just how far we're going to go before we can expect a correction and up to what point I'm buying XRP before I decide I'm going to stop dollar cost averaging for the moment. So here is the move we can expect from XRP in the most immediate future. As you can see, it's a massive downward trending resistance, but as soon as we break this resistance, we will head all the way up to the measured move, which is at $1.6. So in other words, more than double where the price is at now. And that's just in the, the immediate to near term, right? This is a very medium term trade that could happen over weeks or a few months. But I expect XRP to go much, much higher than 169 over the course of this cycle. And I'll let you know exactly what my numbers are later in the stream. So stay tuned. So in my last XRP video, which I will link at the, S the end of this video, you must watch this if you're bullish on XRP. This is the most telling interview on XRP on the internet right now about what's going to happen and why institutional money is going to flood in 
to XRP. Trillions of dollars will be managed through this new system that XRP plans to be the settlement layer of all of the money flowing through all the banks. So this is huge. This is Linda P. Jones. She's a 25 year Wall Street veteran. And she's saying that institutions are looking XRP and that things are really bullish, especially, especially with the launch of the XRP Perpetual Futures. You must check this video out. It's breaking down this entire interview, but I'm just gonna play a few clips for you today so you understand what's really going on behind the scenes and you are truly informed about why XRP is pumping. It is it is remarkable. And it, it is a bit of a tell is what it feels like, doesn't it? It's a bit of a tell here, right? You know, you start to see this kind of product be introduced. You start to ask yourself what kind of volatility is going to be coming to the market and the asset to warrant introducing a product like this. So what are your thoughts about it? Yes, I think that we've talked a lot about in, in the XRP community about the price of XRP, what its true value is, what its fair value is, what it could be worth if it's handling all the money or some of the money or part of the money, right? And we know that that's ultimately going to be trillions and could be into the quadrillions even perhaps. And we can make the cases for that. And some people have different belief systems about that. And it may not be that XRP is the only one handling all of those funds, but the fact that there is a lot of liquidity coming into the system and maybe we're at an important point in time where that's going to start happening in a major way is what's leading me to sort of get this, you know, blinking light going on that, hey, there's something important happening here. Someone thinks that this price may have some big movement in the future and this is the right time to bring out these contracts. It's just kind of the gateway to a spot Ethereum ETF. So these things are basically just signaling that institutional money is interested. They want to take advantage of future price volatility. When is the last time we had price volatility for XRP? It's been a long time coming. This is like one of those rubber bands that's about to break. It's stretched out so far. And where do you think that rubber band heads when it's to the, to the top, to the top. That's it. It heads to the top. And so institutions recognize that there is a big play to be made here, which is why this has been introduced. At least that's Linda P. Jones's theory. And attention to what she said, even in the quadrillions, if XRP really does what it's set out to do, man, we are just in the very, very beginning of this massive move, a move of the decade, possibly. So this is really interesting. Very interesting, in fact. And I'm going to play another clip here. Check it out. All of it is extremely exciting. I've never been able to pinpoint anything as far as time goes, but I absolutely feel like we've all won the lottery in slow motion here. I also feel when it comes to investing, the greatest skill any investor can have outside of due diligence is patience. I just wanted to draw your attention to that, you know, what he said, basically, even if the price doesn't reflect the advancements that are happening behind the scenes and all the technology that's being developed, it will. The price will work itself out. It always does. And all you need is patience. If you have conviction in an asset, in an investment, you set it, you forget it, and you wait, and the rest will work itself out. We are in no rush. We are doing this the right way to have the maximum success possible. And so then I want to turn your attention to Stefan Thomas, who is actually also a technology veteran that's been working on XRP related projects for more than 10 years now. That's a long time. Big things require persistence and I'm proud to be a part of a community that puts real world solutions and consistent progress ahead of ideology and hype. Slow and steady wins the race. I absolutely could not agree more. Slow and steady will win this race and XRP has been a long time slow bleed. I mean, people get really excited when it has really small pumps when really, you know, if you're bullish on XRP, you should just be excited that you can get it for the price that it's at now, period. I mean, these technologies, especially Cardano, Cardano is also a, you know, slow and steady wins the race. You buy these assets at their low prices and you set it and you let it do its thing. And when it's going to run, it'll run. And that's how I did a 65 X on Cardano, the same exact way I bought it just under five cents. I let it sit and I knew that it had a future and that eventually sooner or later, if that technology came to fruition, which I believed that it would, the price would take care of itself. And it most certainly did. So XRP holders, today's your day in the sun because we have even more clarity, but let's check out one more tweet from Stefan. So this happened because payments technology wasn't ready, but it is now. With the technologies we've helped build, Ripple, XRP, and Interledger, we can process trillions of transactions per second without any central authority. That is huge. So these are the kind of announcements that should move the markets, but instead it's, you know, rightfully so, the lawsuit with the SEC, which will set the precedent for future cryptos that have been deemed securities by the SEC. And this is insanely bullish. 
Building a robust technological financial system takes long time. And a lot of the crypto projects that come into existence, a lot of stuff is, is all smoke and mirrors. It's just hype. It's hype driven. And then when it comes time to actually produce the product, it underperforms and it underwhelms. And so I prefer to put my eggs in baskets where the technology is being developed and where there is an actual real problem and solution and use case. So that's just me. And now we have news about most recently, a crypto lawyer says $20 million settlement is 99% win for Ripple. So Dayton strongly refuted the idea that lawsuits result was even a 50-50 outcome for SEC, claiming that it's closer to a 90-10 advantage for Ripple. Prominent cryptocurrency attorney John Deaton has offered insights into the U.S. Securities Exchange versus Ripple lawsuit. He contends that a settlement of $20 million or less would constitute a significant legal triumph for the company. The people who've argued that the SEC got a 50-50 victory in the Ripple case are totally wrong. It was more like 90-10 in Ripple's favor. If Ripple ends up paying $20 million or less, it's a 99%. I mean, just think about, okay, even if Ripple does have to pay this fine and, and then they call it a day and we move on and it's been cleared and is now deemed not a security, imagine all the fines the banks have paid along the way for mistakes that they've made or even direct fraud. I mean, the banks are, are the real criminals here, in my opinion. And so, you know, this is most definitely a win. We will be moving forward and it's going to set a precedent. We've been in this lawsuit since December 2020. I remember watching XRP bleed. I was on the elliptical at the gym at the time because <laughs> that's where I do all my thinking at the gym. And I, I remember thinking, man, I got to pick some of this up. It was a high risk play at the, at the time. I did end up buying some at that point. But, you know, you never know. So now I have even more conviction than I did then. And I'm excited about the future of this asset. On some other news that not many people are talking about, the Dubai Financial Authority approves XRP as a recognized crypto token. Now, the reason why I find this news to be interesting is there's so much happening in Dubai that US people aren't aware of. And I'm based here in Europe, so I see a lot of things that people don't see. So this is news that made it to the mainstream media, but there is a lot of development happening in Dubai with Ripple. And I will be experiencing that firsthand when I go to the event that I partnered with in Dubai in February with AIBC. And I will be reporting that to you on the ground there because I think that, that it's really interesting to be able to create your thesis based on things that are actually happening in the world and not just news cycles or narratives, right? So I want to give you guys as much conviction and proof and, you know, information basically to make your decisions as that I can. So that's just something that I found was really interesting. So Dubai's financial regulator, the Dubai Financial Services Authority, has approved XRP as a recognized crypto token for use within the Dubai International Financial Center, a special economy zone. Licensed virtual assets firms within the DIFC will now be able to incorporate XRP into their virtual asset services, Ripple explained, adding that institutions located in the zone can now utilize XRP to accelerate faster, more efficient global value exchange doing what it was designed to do, cross-border payments and remittances. This is a huge market, a huge addressable total market. And if institutions are interested in it, it's going to do well. You know, all things that are bridging the gap between traditional finance and crypto are going to do well because that is where the liquidity comes from. And for everybody that says that the suits are trying to destroy crypto, BlackRock will destroy crypto, you know what? They might have their own agenda. They might want to control it. They might not have the purest... <laughs> Um, intentions to, so to speak, to put it nicely, but we don't care because we just keep doing our thing here in crypto and nobody can change or alter Bitcoin for the first time in history. We have sovereignty over our money and we're just going to keep doing our thing. And if the suits come in with their liquidity and want to play around, fine, but we're going to be set before then. That's the idea. So we don't even have to go into what would happen if we can, I'll do a video on it, but we're going to have conviction in what we're investing in. And that's it. That's it. And we stay our course. We put our heads down. We tune out the noise. I'm going to actually show you a few clips at the end as to what could drive you insane if you're an XRP holder and you're watching all of this stuff. And just like if you don't tune out the noise, you're going to end up losing. <laughs> Plain and simple. So it's very important that you just focus on the goals and you shift when you need to shift if there is a fundamental change in the underlying technology or something like that. And otherwise, full speed ahead. So um, here is my price prediction for this bull run. Basically, uh, I believe that the price has been highly suppressed. 
Also, you know, this is an interesting factor that BitBoy brought up, the Ripple IPO. There's been like talks about it in the news now for a long time. And it was actually going to be announced in September, I think, or, you know, it's circulating. And BitBoy, well, formerly known as BitBoy, Ben, ben Armstrong put out an interesting piece that he said he thinks that Brad Garlinghouse is going to try to time the launch of the IPO with the peak of the market or the peak euphoria of the market to send Ripple or sorry, to send XRP to its blow off top. Could very well be. He also pointed out that Coinbase was launched at the first peak of the double top bull market this past bull market in the heat of the moment. A lot of people bought at the top. So be careful if that happens. But we'll be prepared for it on this channel because I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. So subscribe now if you haven't done that already. And let's do this together. So here's my chart. Um, well, what I've charted out for the peak of the next bull cycle. I believe we're going to see double digit XRP, double digit XRP in this coming cycle because it's been a long time coming, highly suppressed. And now institutions are starting to come in and we're going to get that liquidity we didn't get before. That's the thesis. And so from its all time high of 384, which we never reached last cycle, by the way, uh, we are 7x from there. And if XRP goes to $10, which is just the beginning, the, the one of the um, earlier predictions, so eight, $8 would be a, like on the conservative side, in my opinion, for a blow off top. $10 is totally achievable, in my opinion. That uh, would be a 14x from where we are now. And if it hits a blow off top at $15, that would be a 20x. That's not bad returns. And guess what? I get this question a lot. How much do I have to own to have to reach $100,000 in this coming cycle with XRP? And the interesting thing is that the numbers came to 6666. Is that a sign? I know a lot of the XRP people are are very into signs and, you know, memes like that. But anyway, 6666 XRP would be approximately 1 $100,000 if XRP would be would were to hit $15 at the peak of the cycle, and it would cost you about $5,000 where XRP is right now. That being said, up to what point am I buying XRP? I have been accumulating XRP throughout the last cycle and through this cycle, and I believe that, you know, anything under a dollar is going to be cheap in the grand scheme of things. However, I know a lot of you don't want to Think about the grand scheme of things because you want to be able to maximize your portfolio for this bull run. And I completely understand that. I still think with what we're looking at here, even if we topped out at $8, that's an, even if it topped out at $8, that's still some incredible gains. And $1 or below would be a great time to buy. So I just, I don't want you guys to try to always have this number in your head, like I have to hit 20X or I have to hit a 10X. No, just understand what's possible even the the bare the base case scenario like Kathy Wood says and the absolute bull case and take it from there. And if you bought XRP anywhere under a dollar, would you be happy if it went to $8? Absolutely. So up to $1 is a good buy for XRP, but um on my end I am looking for, you know, everything that goes up in a straight line and gets overly exuberant will come down at some point and I'll be averaging in. I'll be averaging in. So on this next pullback, I'll pick some more up and so on and so forth. And, you know, under $1 is a good buy. That's all I will say about that. So that being said, when can we expect a pullback in crypto in general? Because as I said, and I keep repeating myself in every single stream, it would not be uncharacteristic of Bitcoin to have a 20 to 50% correction in the next handful of months. And we are getting pretty heated in the market now. We can stay overbought for a really long time. But what would that look like? Well, if Bitcoin got to 50,000 before having the correction, the worst of the worst would look like 25,000, right? If that were to come, come to, to be true. If it were 45,000, then it would be a little bit less and so on. So maybe we end up seeing a $20,000 Bitcoin again. And if that happens, I want you to be prepared. I want you to have a strategy. Otherwise, you know, when when that happens, the altcoins will correct with it. And even before that, if you've had an ex exponential run like XRP or like Solana, we never chase those green candles because they will come down. So the key here is to control your emotions. Set your portfolio now so that you don't feel the sting of that FOMO or that you bought too high. Just, you know, now is the time, guys. Now is the time. Not financial advice. It is what I am doing. And it is how I succeeded greatly in the last bull market. In fact, I was buying at this same exact time and I did 
so many multiple X's on my portfolio with Cardano, like I told you earlier, a 65X to be exact. And I even bought a little bit later than now. I bought in February of next year, according to these time cycles. So maybe we're seeing altcoins wake up earlier, maybe not. But all I'm saying is these next six months are going to be fundamental in getting your positions ready. And the real altcoin mega mania comes when Bitcoin's had its blow off top, it's settling down, and then all the money and the liquidity trickles into the altcoins. Then you'll experience something like you could never imagine. And it's going to be one of the biggest bull runs in Bitcoin's history because now we are in the institutional phase and things are getting interesting. So back to this point, we are now in greed. So if, if you can see here, we were neutral last month and the month before that we were in fear. So you can see how quickly this goes. People's sentiments shift. The easiest way to play this and the simplest way to look at it is buy fear, sell greed. So maybe some people will start to sell. Maybe we'll see a correction soon. It can stay pegged in greed for a long time. And we're not in extreme greed yet. But just, you know, keep an eye on this indicator as just one of the tools in your toolbox. And I want you to see something here, down here, all these clusters here in extreme fear. We had been in extreme fear throughout the majority of 2021 and 2022. And we recently flipped that area, as you can see here, this base, we're now building a foundation on top of that previous base. So we spent all the time in extreme fear here, and now we flipped it. And we've, we've had some touch points on this base where we were previously hitting resistance. So this is a good sign. This is a good sign. And um, I just want you guys to keep an eye on sentiment and on things getting heated quickly. Take it from there. This guy, for example, XRP, big picture. Idiots think I'm against the bull run or I'm bearish. LOL. I'm none of that. I'm just being realistic and logic. Logic. The overall picture is crazy and extremely bullish. I can't argue with that. But in the short term, you have to be wary. The pump is not real. So here he is. He's having this chart of XRP hitting $533 in 2032, which could very well be true. That could be true. That's fine. But he's saying this pump isn't real. I mean, you just at, at a certain point, you have to stop buying into those narratives and just realize where we're at, where I showed you here before. The total two, the total one market cap, meaning all of the market cap, cap of crypto is breaking out. That means new money is coming in. And that means this pump is most certainly real. We are in phase one and possibly phase two of the bull run. So don't lose sight of that. Don't lose sight of that because of things you see on the internet. The, the altcoins are just starting to wake up. So don't get carried away in narrative and hype, although it's interesting to entertain and look and speculate and have it as a tool. Just don't get carried away. Remember, remember what I showed you here. Remember what I showed you here on this chart. This is the XRP two day. This is the most near term what could happen with XRP in the handful of weeks and possibly months to come. And that has a price target of $1.61 approximately. So let's not get too carried away. Let's just zoom out, take a deep breath, take it all in, be happy about where XRP is headed and where we're going all together as a community. And that's it. And you let it take care of itself. And I'm going to leave you on this note works for us and others and what's usually a mainstay, but people have to weigh out their own lives and their own investment and where they sit in it. But as an example, Fed now, the SEC case and the judgment that came down, people wanted to see price then, right? Then we look at everything else that happens. The, the proper party, people were expecting price to go nuts for some reason. I don't know why. It didn't make sense to me either. But, you know, but they get these, they get these uh, watermarks in their head, right? And they think this, this time, right? Okay, well, not this time, but this, this time, right? Well, all right, but not that time, but this time, you know, you could kill yourself like that, right? Like that's not, there's so much suffering in that approach. You know, I always hope that people Look at those points, but they're fundamental watermarks. When I see those watermarks come about, I'm not expecting price reflection. I cover them on the channel and I talk about them and get excited about them myself because I'm seeing one more piece of infrastructure be plugged in using Ripple and or XRP or intention to use it in the future. And when I see those things happen, I just see a puzzle picture becoming more clear and end up coming together where it's starting to truly fit the way it's supposed to and intended to. And ultimately, seeing those things continually play out in the manner that I want to see them happen, like DTC news, right, perpetual futures, the anticipation of more market volatility, which means more uh, liquidity moving into the scene. Seeing all of those things, Linda, to me, just tells me we're on the right path. As long as I stay on the right path, that's what helps me be patient. Price will take care of itself. That's right. You heard it here first. Price will take care of itself. Slow and steady wins the race. And we are in it to win it, fam. Comment below if you like that. And also, I'm going to leave you with one last gem. Do I believe that XRP could be in the hundreds of dollars by 2030? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. On the trajectory it is now and with all of these technological components coming into place and the partnerships and the real world usage of this, of what XRP was designed to do, I absolutely believe that in the coming decade, we could be in the hundreds of dollars per XRP. And I'll leave you on that note. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you tomorrow.